first kiss is a fabulous actress who stars in the upcoming film, The Portrait of a Lady. She also happens to be, whatever, happily married <laughs> to my boyfriend, Tom Cruise. <laughs> it's okay. Please welcome Nicole Kidman. <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. So has Tom stopped talking about me since he did my show? <laughs> I mean, really, just tell me. He, um, yeah, it was a very moving experience for him. It was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Couldn't stop, <laughs> could he? Couldn't stop talking about me. Yeah, couldn't stop. The kid has a little crush. The and the kiss. I mean, he looks at you differently than he looks at me. Really? <laughs> are a you a little jealous? Are you a little jealous? A little jealous. Yeah, a little threatened. A little threatened. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a proposal. We could go, move to one of those countries where a man is allowed to have two wives, and uh, you know it's nice. He could can marry you. It's and nice. We but could I, become best friends. I can't share Tommy. <laughs> I will let him. You'd stay. have to give up the show. Yeah. Oh, well, the show's nothing. But <laughs> I want him to stay with you until you know forever. But if something happens, you know, in a few years, I'll just. Yeah, but I, I heard that you wanted him to come over in sort of an Armani suit and mow your lawn. Yeah. Yeah. Is that wrong? I'll let him do that. You will? Yeah. See, you're a sport like that. He doesn't know how to mow the lawn, though. He doesn't? No. You see, this is good to know. I shouldn't have said that. No, it's probably true. I can't imagine him really mowing the but lawn. But he can cook. He's quite a good cook. He can, he, what does he cook? Mm. What's his best dish? Pasta. Pasta. Mm -hmm. A little spicy sauce? Uh, not too spicy, no, no it upsets spicy. his stomach. Oh, really? Good to you know. You should know that. Let me yeah. jump. Upsets his stomach. Okay. Good. <laughs> good. You know, I mean, you, you have to admit you've been a good sport about me being mildly obsessive. <laughs> you know, because I have a little crush. Um, and he was so great when he came. I don't know if you, did you see the show? Yeah. Oh, you he did? was really nervous. Well, he was nervous, mm. but didn't stop him from kissing me. No. <laughs> I don't know if you saw. We have a clip. On the lips. Yeah, on the lips. We have a clip. Just take a look here. Oh, God. Just wanted to show you. There he is. Look. What is that, Nick? Oh! Did you see that? Was that like 20 seconds? <laughs> you know? Hey, look. He kept hugging me, Nick. It was like, it wasn't, I don't even understand it. At the commercial, I said, I said, Tom. Tommy, you're married, you know? <laughs> no. He, he forgot. Really did. He, he did. Forgot. He forgot. He did. But, you know, he was, he, <laughs> oh, after the show, he stayed. After the show, your sister was here. It was so mm. beautiful, just like you. The, the whole family. Is everyone good looking in your family? Um, pretty much. They're all tall. They're all tall and mm. pretty. We're like the giants. Are you the only actor? I tell everyone that people from Australia are all our height. Really? Because no one, not one of us is under 5'11". No kidding. No, my dad's 6'3", and my mom's... Is she a model, okay. your sister, the one who's here? No, no, she's actually a researcher for the Today Show in Australia. Oh, no kidding. Mm. Any, any of your siblings in, in the entertainment industry besides that? Well, my, that, that's the only sibling. Oh, you only have one sister? Yeah. So I met Two the whole girls. family. You met them all. Pretty much. <laughs> and your mother-in-law was here. Yeah. No, she was she here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She oh. was here. Oh, no. <laughs> Tell me your There's sister. secret. In See, I... We all chatted. And left out. And you were missed. Oh, I'm <laughs> kind of, right? No, no, you were. <laughs> now, you have this new film, Portrait of a Lady. Jane, mm -hmm. or I always say her name wrong, Champion. It's Campion, Campion, yeah, Campion. who directed The Piano. Mm. Such a brilliant director. And she's from Australia as well. She's from New Zealand. Oh, she is? Mm -hmm. I get yeah. them all mixed up down there. <laughs> I've never... Don't tell an Australian that. There's really? a rivalry between New Zealanders and Australians. No kidding. Mm. In it's just... like saying, um, well, a New Yorker and, an, and a Los Angeles person is the same. Oh, really? Mm. I didn't know that. That's kind of different, right? When did... It is a lot. <laughs> it's like if you say you're from the U.S. and you're from Canada, it's like a little bit... Yeah. Yes, exactly. Right. I don't know. I don't, I don't even have a passport. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a passport. I'm going to get a passport this year. Now, you... You have a passport? I know. I don't have a passport. Have you never left the country? I did when I was 10. Oh. I went to Ireland when I was 10. Really? That's why I was upset when Barbara Walters told me that you and Tom and your kids might move to England. Oh. I don't have a passport, Nicole. Oh. <laughs> What's going to happen the holidays? Right, right. 
Are you gonna move there, you think? Maybe? Um, well, we're there now. Yeah, you're doing a movie yeah. with Stanley Kubrick. Yes, the with two you, of us. It's called third... Eyes Wide Shut. Eyes Wide Shut, what's mm. it about? Well, we're not like, uh, the only thing that Mr. Kubrick lets us say about it is that it's about sexual obsession and, uh, <laughs> and jealousy. Oh, mine's not sexual, really. I don't no, know. No, you know. just obsession. I didn't even like in Jerry Maguire and when I saw him sem semi-naked with Kelly Preston doing that. I didn't even like. It's not that kind of a crush, Nicole. Right, I right. just want him to get me a Diet Coke every so often. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. so I don't want to portray that wrong and have people think badly of me and my Tommy. <laughs> no. Because the love is pure. Oh, good. It's not that kind of a base love. <laughs> not that that would be such a bad thing. But I'm just saying. You're right. You got me distracted. Yeah, I can see. Look, I think you have me blushing. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. Um, but this is your third film, of course, with Tom. We haven't made a film together in five years, though. So this is a very different film, too. And when does it come out? I think probably the end of next year. And you must love working together because you don't have to be separate or you don't... Well, we, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have separate trailers, though, when we work together. How come? Um, because, you know, uh, you, when you're working, you have to prepare and you have to sort of... You're, you're creating characters, so if you're sort of sitting there and he's talking on the phone and, honey, shh, yeah. and then quick, we've got to go on the set, no. So we try to keep it separate when we're on the thing so that then we can go in and work as the characters and then we come back off and See, that's go your, home together and your prof yeah don't dwell on that stuff at all. <laughs> but so you're professional in other words yeah very professional all right that's very good. professional no, i mean i go into his trail obviously and you know we have lunch together and yeah. <laughs> anyway it's you go in there a lot i bet well you yeah. can you're married yeah you, you know it wouldn't be like me kept going in his trailer <laughs> which i would do if i was on the set but i'm not because i don't have a passport and you're shooting you in england can't. i can't come there don't worry <laughs> Thank God. Now, no, no. <laughs> I, I can't blame you. You know, I can't blame you. I'll get over it. I'm, I'm going to therapy. And I think after he's been here, you know, I No, don't... I think he likes it. I don't think he wants you to get over it. Really? Good to know. <laughs> don't go anywhere. We want to talk about your movie, because I don't want to spend your whole time talking about my boyfriend, <laughs> you know, during your segment. The Portrait of a Lady is the film. We're going to talk about it after this commercial. So okay. Okay. Yeah, embarrassing though. Was it embarrassing? When I look at it now, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> it's out of my mind. <laughs> it was cute. It was. I loved you in To Die For. Oh. Thank it was you. such a great performance. Thank you. <laughs> it was like a comedy, but it was, it's, you, you like you don't play the comedy in that kind of a thing. You play no, it truthfully. No, black comedy. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, I mean, you're the expert in comedy. Well, I've never done that kind of a role where you know it's You've not. You've never done a black comedic role. No. Mm. You'd be great. It's always a little bit over the top. What a surprise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I always play the same role. I play Ethel in every movie. <laughs> Betty well, is and like... now you've put that out there, I'm sure you'll start getting some black comedic offers. You think so? Mm. I don't know if I'd be good at it. because It's my be... favorite type of comedy, actually. Because you, you were great in that, and, uh, and you won the Golden Globe. And I saw my Tommy oh, no, was sitting there so proud when you won. <laughs> and I was proud for him being proud yeah. for you. <laughs> Now, your new movie, Portrait of a Lady, a wonderful It's not film. a comedy. It's not a comedy at all. Tell everybody what it's about, because we have a clip. It's a me. drama. Okay, okay. There, 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 there we go. It's a no, drama. No, no, it's, uh, it's, it's actually based on the Henry James novel called um, Portrait of a Lady. And um, I just loved the idea of the combination of Jane Campion um, and what she did with the piano and what she would do with this, with this particular story. And she, I think she's made a very unique, very special film. And it's Barbara Hershey, John Malkovich, mm -hmm. and yourself. Yeah. Are the three stars of the film. Yeah. And we have a scene now with you and John. Do you want to set this one up? It's when he sort of... Um, he tells me how much he loves me. For the first time <laughs> in the movie. Take a look. I didn't get to see it, but I'm going to see it this week. Yeah. It opens December 27th. Yes. 
all over the country. Mm -hmm. It looks like a great movie. It is. She's done some, I mean, she's such an extraordinary director, Jan Campion. And you had almost worked with her once, right? Oh, yeah. She, um, when I was 14, I've known her since I was 14 years old in Australia, and she was at film school, and she cast me in her, um, in her film school film. And I had to pull out because of my school exams. My headmistress wouldn't let me do it. Really? Did you go but to now I get, you know, 14 years later to exactly. work Exactly. Did you mm. go to a boarding school? No. You didn't? No. no. But you still had a headmistress. That's just an Australian thing. <gasps> oh, yeah. Why? You don't have that here? No, we have a principal. Oh. <laughs> and when you got yeah, no, we had a headmistress. Yeah. I was always in trouble. She hated my hair. Really? She, well, I'd sort of, out of defiance, wear my hair on top of my head with a big bow. And, and she would always sort of call me into the office and say, you've got to cut your hair. Oh, really? Did she mm. have, like, ugly, thin hair or something? She was real <laughs> jealous of you, sitting on, oh, that neck out came in stupid. No, she, it, it was just... Hair. <laughs> Some wacko. No, it was just, you know, we had to wear school uniforms and hats and gloves and all of that stuff. Yeah. Very controlling. I'm sure you look good in it. You look good in everything. <laughs> and it's all right. I'm over it. I'm happy that you guys are happy. You know, that's all that matters to me. But I did want to leave you with a gift. Oh, um, good. Yeah, because you've been such a sport. Gifts. Here's a... Oh, uh, God! <laughs> For you, a gift of me and Tom, and the and, and, and I know oh. that you have a lot of houses, you know. And I thought that maybe because you have a trailer, a trailer, and and then this one for Tom's trailer. So you take that. Wonderful. And Nicole, you know, I love you, but not as much as I love your husband. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, portrait of a lady, December 29th. We'll be right back with Richard Lewis. Good night, sir.